Today we are going to take a look at this. This is a hard drive for the C64. It's not a disk drive and it's not an SD card solution either. It's a real IEC to IDE drive. Let's open it up, take a look inside. This device was invented by a guy called Jochen Adler. He's German and he's a dentist. I looked him up and I saw that some of his work is actually hosted on some sub page of his dentist website. So uh, I will leave a, a, a link in the description. Um, I don't know who made this drive because I bought it off of eBay and I guess it cost me 50 euros. I was looking for the PCB for that because I had read about a C64 hard drive and then this came along and this is made pretty nicely. You have a very professional made casing for that. It looks all awesome and uh, yeah, this looks really good. So let's take a look inside. And what we have here is an IEC to IDE interface. So the usual C64 serial cable plugs in here and you can plug in a real hard disk, IDE hard disk here. Right now there's a compact flash card in here and it's all very tidy and very well made. Here are two uh, small LEDs in the front and you use this just like any ordinary disk drive. So you plug it into your C64 and um, it gets recognized as device number two. So the standard floppy drive is device number eight. And this is device number two. And um, yeah, there's not much in here. The main attraction is this BIOS chip, which is from uh, Jochen Adler, whose uh, alias is NLQ or near letter quantity instead of quality. You may recognize this term from back in the day from uh, dot matrix printers. Yeah, and here's some S, uh, is a 74 als 244 an which is just some logic. Yeah, and that is uh, pretty much it. And uh, try to um, get Jochen to reissue that and make it available um, on PCB way or something like this so that you can build one yourself if you want one. Okay, so let's uh, close this up since there's not much in here and um, let's see what it does. So after some tinkering around I found out that my device actually is device number 10. So what you can do is you can say load dollar comma 10 and then you get the directory and as you can see I have quite some blocks free here which is 121 megabytes oh you can see actually this won't work because this is a directory and you can have directories in uh, on this hard disk and to open these oh, let's try this 15 comma 10 comma 15 cd dash oh okay that seems to work Okay, and now let's load that again. And now we should see the content of the 1541 demo directory. And we do. Nice. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. So let's try to load the C64 basic demo. So this is 
allegedly working with uh, fast loaders like Jiffy DOS, but I don't have one active right now, so we will just see. Oh, okay, it's done already. Oh, nice. Look at that. It actually worked. Cool. Uh, what do we, uh, sound demo siren. Let's check it out. Okay, enough. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, this actually seems to work pretty well. So all you need to use this is a FAT32 formatted disk drive or um, one of these CF cards or SD cards would probably also work if you have an SD to IDE interface. And uh, yeah, you can store up to 128 max on one card. And I guess uh, this can even go bigger than that. And you can do directories, you can load and save stuff. and. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is interesting for any one of you. If you want to see more about this, just let me know in the comments and I will uh, try to build one. So let's check how we get to the direct, the parent directory. Ah, we just say um, open 15, 10, 15 and 10 is the device number of the device, which is 10 in my case. CD slash slash no it's gonna down yeah okay so that is how we navigate directories by open 15 comma 10 comma 15 comma and then cd and then the directory or slash slash for to go back one directory nice okay so that works pretty good so if you want to know more about this or see how to set it up and stuff like that. Just let me know in the comments. And uh, that's all for today. Until next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Retro is the new black. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. If you like the video, please share. Every like, share, and comment helps a lot. Until next time. Bye bye.